So you made major headlines in 2016 um, when a audio of a conversation with you and Donald Trump came out um, denying that you had gone on a date with him. What is your side of the story and how did it feel to be thrust into the political spotlight like that? Well, so first of all, I met the Donald back in 1996. And the way I met him is I got a phone call from Playboy Models, which was a separate entity that Playmates could work for. And at that time, I was the their Playboy uh, catalog contract girl. So I was on every catalog for like six months. So I guess he was getting my catalogs. Actually, it wasn't him who called his secretary. And they said, you know, Donald would like to meet you. He is auditioning models for his uh, Casina campaign. And it's like a $150,000 campaign. And uh, one of the lucky models will get... To, to, later on, I found out there was no campaign. It was just a ruse he would use to to meet women, of course. Uh, so it was for one of his Atlantic City supposedly campaigns. So I, so he sent me a limo. I lived in Philadelphia at that time. In fact, I was, I believe I was still married. It was, it was 1995, 96. So uh, I go, I go and, and I um, come out of the limo and there he is, the Donald standing. And he goes to me, do you believe how incredibly tall and handsome I am? I don't think cameras do me justice. And I'm kind of like, okay, I've never had any anybody who starts a conversation like that. I go, well, I guess you are really tall in real life. But anyway, so let's just say we had a, the first dinner and I'm kind of being patient about that campaign and stuff. And the entire time he only talks about himself. So, um, and about all the women he's been in and about this and that and his ex-wives. And I'm like wondering, where is this whole campaign thing going to be discussed? So I sort of bring it up and he goes, well, I haven't decided yet. Uh, there is like this U.S. Open. Can you come to the U.S. Open? So I ended up coming to U.S. Open and I was in his booth and he told me, go out there and wave to all of my fans. And I'm going, well, maybe they're my fans. But anyway, so I ended <laughs> up going. And so I remember at the end of that, trying to convince me to come to some kind of party and to bring all these playmates. And I said, well, the way it works is we get paid to go to parties. You know, we don't just get up and go to parties because I want to go to parties. And he's like, no, 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 this, is a, you know, my millionaire friends and I, we, you know, we don't pay anybody. I said, well, these girls are not going to get out of bed, get ready to go to a party. So anyway, so I met him for, I think, three or four dates at this point. And at the last one, I brought it up. I said, look, what's the deal with the campaign? Because this is the whole thing. And he looks me straight, the, he looks me straight in the eye and he goes, honey, we use real runway models for that. So at that point, I was like, okay, what? This is bullshit. I'm not meeting anymore. So that was the end of it. And he left me a bunch of messages. So now, fast forward 2004, fast, fast forwarding. And I kept running into him at the Playboy parties. I would just ignore him. So now, in so this was 1996. In 2004, when I became pet of the year, I did a story for Chauncey for Stepping Out magazine that was on the cover. And he asked me about different famous people I met or dated. And I talked about like Prince Albert and having sex with him. I was honest. I'm pretty honest and candid person. And I mentioned, you know, Donald. I said I never had sex with him because, you know, I didn't find him attractive and I didn't like him and just wasn't relevant. And he lied to me about the campaign. And I think he has a narcissistic personality disorder. So that was the end of it. So now... Donald calls to do fact check. He calls, I mean, I'm sorry. No, uh, Chauncey, the, the journalist, calls Donald to do fact check. And apparently he audio taped the whole thing. So first he says, well, you know, we just interviewed this model. And she says, you have a narcissistic personality disorder. Of course, Donald freaks out. He goes, I don't have any, I don't even know who she is. I've never even met her. How could she diagnose me with narcissism? So it's sort of devolved from there. And, uh, and of course, we have pictures together. So and he's like, oh, yeah, I, I guess I, I did meet her. So, you know, uh, so from there on, and, and then he's begging Chauncey not to publish this. He's like, I don't need this. This is not true. She's making this up. And I'm like, why would I make this up? This happened in 1996. There's pictures of us together. And like, there's no reason. And, and he knows he has a narcissistic personality disorder. At this point, I'm a PhD level clinical psychologist. And having met him in person, I have every capacity to diagnose him with that. Uh, I said, perhaps with only some sociopathic traits to throw in. So, of course, he did not like that. And then just went back and forth. And then he started making up that I was chasing him and I was the one calling him and all this kind of stuff. And of course, then I got really angry and 
I said, all right, well, you want to know everything about our date and everything he said to me and everything he said about his ex-wives. So then, then of course, the, the part of the clip um, where he's ranting and it's his usual rant. He's like, I don't, this girl, I would never go out. She's ugly. She's the ugliest playmate I've ever met. She's not my type. And why is she even in penthouse? And who would want a 30 year old pet of the year? And he's just going off and on. And he, she doesn't even look that attractive. And Chauncey has him in the corner. He's like, not only does she, she, she looks exactly like your type. In fact, she looks like a pretty younger Ivanka Trump. <laughs> So, you know, he can't say anything. He's like, no, she doesn't. She's not even pretty. And I don't even know why they pick her for Playboy. And he, she looks like a third grade hooker. So they just, it's like this huge rant that Chauncey published. And Trump was really angry about that. So, yeah. So then, of course, when he was running, this is now fast forward when he's running for presidency. I have all these reporters at my door. And I'm li- literally hiding because by now I have kids. And my my daughters are saying to me, oh my God, mom, there's reporters. They want to know where you are. And I, so I said, I have nothing to say at this point. I just did not want to get my kids involved in the whole controversy. So I declined. I said, whatever I said in 1996, whatever I said in 2004, feel free to reuse it. I have no further information to comment on that because I just did not want to be involved in the whole election mess there. So, so that was that. Wow. Never wow. slept with him, but somehow all the websites on the internet says I was his girlfriend, which is ridiculous. Well, you know, the internet loves to just like, the internet, if it's on the internet, it's true. It's And everybody <laughs> who writes on things on the internet does all their research and does, you know, fact checking, and, you know, make sure that nobody ever publishes anything untrue on the internet. But Man, I'm that sorry. Is cra- yeah, it all started with me diagnosing him with narcissistic personality disorder, which is literally in my PhD class. Uh, my professor said to, when he was discussing personality disorder, he said a classic case of it, which should be right in the, t- the textbook case, is Donald Trump. This was way before he was president. I said I didn't say that. It was literally our professor that brought it up. So that's how so it. You, I'm just curious because you said that Donald knows that he has narcissistic personality disorder. Do, wouldn't people who have narcissistic personality disorder like not recognize that? Isn't that part of being narcissistic is the inability to be self-aware? Well, to a certain extent. I mean, I think he 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 knows by now. I'm sure it's been brought up to him and I don't think he cares. The truth is that narcissists don't really care if you call them narcissists. They just want audience and attention at all costs, right? That they have, they want the spotlight. They want to be the center of the spotlight and attention. And we all know that he does. So um, I think on some level he does. I think he just, at that point, he didn't like some, some centerfold pointing it out perhaps, you know, so he figured he'll just say, I never, I don't know who she is. He had no idea that, you know, yeah. that would just make him look like a liar. That's so. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 